and welcome to Violent Fundamentals Sneak Peek. I always like to show exactly what is in the course so you know exactly what to expect. So here at Violent Fundamentals and Online Violent Education, you have your welcome video here to start with and you have all these modules here, okay? So uh, you can click on any of these to access these specific modules. We have course materials, violent essentials, all about the left hand, all about the right hand, Rhythm study, which is really exciting because this gets overlooked a lot in the beginning of a violin journey. Uh, finger adventures, uh, which is also really exciting. I'll walk you through each of these. Violin scales, and those scales consist of A major, D major, and G major. Because scales are the foundation of your violin journey. So uh, the first thing you really want to learn on the violin are scales because that's the foundation of every piece you're going to learn. So the course materials, this is really, really exciting. You get all of these books. You get finger adventures, rhythm adventures, beginner violin scales, notes on the violin, and supplemental scales. And you just click on each of these images and they're 100% downloadable digital books that you can read off of your tablet, your iPad, uh, or if you want to print them up, you can print them up as well, okay? And I have a video here that's specifically talking about the notes on the violin. What I find is that violinists, that, uh, people that want to play the violin, when they come to the violin, they uh, really struggle with the note reading and with the music on the page. So this, this video here, Notes on the Violin, and this book, Notes on the Violin, are really going to help you quite a bit. And also Finger Adventures is going to help you with reading. So this course is specifically designed for violinists that need help with their music reading skills related to the violin, okay? So as we continue on, you have Violin Essentials. Now this is a playlist of 22 videos all about the essentials of the violin, okay? So to access the playlist, you just click here and you have, these are the topics, where to get a violin, how to size a violin, violin parts, the strings on the violin, violin bow parts, what chin rest to use, how to put on a shoulder rest, four secrets to a fabulous violin hold, Rest position, playing position, and how to hold the violin. Violin essentials, violin hold tips, games to improve your violin hold. How to rosin a bow, how to rosin, uh, another one, how to rosin a bow. Uh, four secrets to a fabulous bow hold, how to tune with a digital dial tuner, how to tune with a tuning fork, the best video ever for how to tune a violin without a tuner. Beginner violin scales, violin care, how to use metronome, summer tips, basically, and how to take care of your violin in the summer and practice tips for that and how to protect your violin and bow from perspiration. So these are all uh, within the playlist of violin essentials. And then we have muscular development on the left. It's really important when you're coming to the violin that you divide your body up into two parts, into two halves, basically the left side and the right side. And uh, to really focus in on the muscular development, uh, a lot of violinists that are coming, or a lot of people that are coming to the violinists are adult players. And as an adult, you really need to focus in on exact muscular development uh, just as much as somebody who's younger. However, somebody who's younger, uh, the, their muscles are a little bit more flexible. And as adults, the muscles are trained after how many years of not playing the violin by doing other things. So it's kind of a new concept for your muscles. And this is what's really important. So uh, muscular development on the left, we have uh, jumping fingers, another exercise for you to work that out uh, with pencil pickup. Left hand meets the violin, how to have the left hand come to the violin, and I talk about the elbow elevator specifically for the left arm. Then we get into muscular development on the right side. Different exercises to help with your bow hold, with your bow arm, with uh, the individual fingers in the bow hold, and exercises to get those going. And then we have bow meets the violin. So I talk about here about the contact point, where the bow should be on the, on the violin in relationship to the fingerboard or the bridge, how to pull straight bows, elbow elevator, basically the bow, bow arm mechanics, how the bow arm actually works, and how to play only on one string and not hit the other strings. Then we have the role of the wrist. It's really important to know exactly what does the wrist do in your bow arm. You know, the flexibility of the wrist, it's very key for those straight bows. And then we talk about different bow directions. As far as rhythm study, we talk about quarter notes, half notes, whole notes, and the note values, how to play them on the violin, eighth notes, triplets, sixteenth notes, what they look like, and how to play them on the violin. Uh, the combination of rhythms, eighths and sixteenths, eight, eighths with eight 
rests and uh, how to play those as well. Fingers meet the violin. Here you're actually going to bring the fingers to the violin. So as you noticed, you learned the rhythms. You have the rhythms going here. All these wonderful rhythms before we even talked about the left hand. So it's really pretty cool because you really focus in on rhythm and with the bow arm specifically. So as far as the left hand, we talk about each individual finger with exercises on each finger, the second finger. Okay, we specifically talk about the second finger first. And then this goes along with the Finger Adventures book, and you have play along videos with every single exercise on the Finger Adventures book. So you have the A string play along video, E string, D string, G string. So these are all specifically for the second finger. Okay, any of these videos just click play, and you can make it full screen here, like this. And you see each of these videos, it's about four minutes long for the play along. And these you actually play along, the practice videos basically for you to play along with them, okay? And then to click out of the full screen, you just click on escape. So then uh, we go to the fourth finger, same thing. Every single finger gets that much attention. Fourth finger on the A string, on the E string, D string, G string. Then we have the third finger, same thing on every single string with those exercises and the play along videos that go along with them and then the first finger, okay? And you have the notes. And remember when I said that you have the, the Finger Adventures book? Right here, you have the Finger Adventures book that you just click on here. And you'll be able to access it, download it, uh, so and print it if you wish. And in this book, I'm just gonna show you the wonderful exercises. You also have so much more. You have a clickable table of contents as well. And so here are your exercises with the play along videos, okay? And it's specifically for that second finger. Um, actually, it's all, you know, for all the fingers, but uh, it's broken down into working with each finger, okay? So that's the finger adventures. It'll help with your note reading skills, your playing skills, and your intonation, okay? So that's the, the whole section for the left hand and the first finger. Then you have your first finger pattern, okay? And you learn um, basically the, the first finger pattern that you learn on the violin. After that, we have beginner violin scales. You learn A major and you have, again, application, play along in different studies within that A major and the thirds, videos for every single one, D major as well, as you see, and G major, as you see here. And you have all the notes that go along with it uh, in the books that are provided within the course. Now, the other thing you get access to when you are enrolled in the course or in any online violin education course, you get this VIP lounge, which is really pretty cool because uh, you have access to, uh, as soon as the internet speeds up a little bit here, <laughs> Okay, so you have access to the VIP lounge, and within this lounge you have uh, different um, sections as well. You have motivation, you have intensives, you have performance gallery, nourishment, self-care. So each of these goes to a specific page that has uh, different videos, inspirational images, uh, featured violinist playlists, so uh, it's really pretty Cool. look at this how fun is this so this is just a sneak peek into what the VIP lounge has so you have the motivation you have access to you have intensives with me you have a performance gallery of other students performing and a self-care module which is really pretty awesome because you have tons of videos here look at this emotional inspiration you have practice inspiration uh, physical inspiration, stretches for violinists, musicality inspiration. So it's really pretty cool. Amazing, all the videos that you have to watch. You also have access to OVE Courses private Facebook study group here, and then also to access any other courses that you wish if you're interested in moving on to the next course then you can discover the other OVE courses here and you have some tech support. So if there's any time you feel like uh, you need to have some tech support, you can click here and access the support, which is to you, which is for you um, at all times. So that is everything that you get in the Violin Fundamentals. Pretty awesome stuff. I look forward to seeing you in the course. Ciao.